Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Megascan where you can get various materials and assets. First, type Quixel.com into the address bar and the Quixel homepage will appear. Then, click Bridge on Product. And then, Bridge in the Download button will appear in the center. Click the button to download the file, and run it for installation. After the installation is done, run it in a window like the one in the video will appear and you must log in to download materials. Please note that you can log in with your Unreal ID. Now, select the material you wanted to download and click it. Once you have selected the material you want, click the download button at the bottom. When the download is completed, the button changes to export. Before exporting, click Export Settings on the left icon. After selecting the version of Unreal Engine you want, set the plugin location. By default, the plugin's path is C Drive, Program Files, Epic Games, Selected Unreal Version, Engine, Plugins. When done, click Select Folder to set the path. Now, click the Install Plugin button to install the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, run the version of Unreal Engine you just installed. You should now see the Megascan icon in the top pane of the engine. Next, select the cube from the Place Actor window and place it on the level. Then return to the bridge window and click the export button of the previously selected material. After confirming that the export was successfully done, return to the Unreal Engine window again. Now, a folder called Megascan is created in the file of the content browser, and you can see that the material you selected is in the instance form. Next, set Megascan's material instance to the cube placed in the level. Then click on Megascan's material instance to open the window. You can now check the unchecked parameter group to change the material as you want. If you continue to use it, the downloaded materials or metals will be in the purchased section, where you can export previously downloaded assets back to your Unreal project. 